So I was on a vacation with my girlfriend and I thought, hey, what if I started learning React Native? And then I thought even better, what if I actually documented the process of me learning it? Hopefully it'll give you some value and it'll probably just be really entertaining. So you might be sitting there going, why Kazi? why are you learning React Native? What are you gonna get out of it? That's a great question, let me answer. I was thinking that to myself too, why am I actually gonna learn this? It's so I can actually build courses for you right here on YouTube. So if you're liking this so far, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and this is the channel where you learn all things React, React Native, and full stack development. And now, let's get into what I've learned so far in one day of learning. I've learned how to install React Native through the Expo CLI. I've learned how to actually initialize a project with React Native on my computer. I've learned how to run an iOS simulator on my computer, which is super cool. And I've also learned how to, with my app, being in development mode, using a LAN connection, have the app on my phone. Now, there are a couple of other interesting things that I discovered about React Native, which are like in React, you're actually making regular components, you're writing HTML. In React Native, you don't do that. And wherever you have to write text, here you actually would write the text component. And what React Native does is essentially turns everything that you're writing into the native platform. So basically you just write JavaScript once and it's native code on every mobile app everywhere. You can install React Native like completely blank when you install, when you do expo init your project name, or you could actually start it off with tabs built with TypeScript. I recommend that you actually start it off with the TypeScript version with the tabs already built because when you do that, straight off the bat, you already have navigation working, you have some hooks working, you have, uh, you have a bottom navigation there, you can actually route between two pages. It's quite cool. And so, as a developer, it takes away a ton of boilerplate code that you would normally do. The other thing is state management. And well, in React Native, state management is very simple and similar to just React.js. I'm importing my use state, I'm setting the count to it, and then on handle press, when you click the image, I just increment the alert number by one. Other differences I noticed in React Native as compared to React.js are most things are wrapped in view instead of a JSX fragment. And you style the view with container. And another thing is when I click it, if you notice how that image actually does that little flashing thing is I wrap the image in something called touchable opacity. And on press, I make it do things. So the image itself actually doesn't have an on press attribute, but the touchable opacity does. That I found a little bit odd and a little bit weird, but you kind of get used to it. And then image is just normal. I pass in a source with a URI and we're good to go. Uh, now I wanna say a couple of things, okay? If you watch me do all of this in one day, you're like, how the hell did you do all this in one day? Well, it's not one day, it's years and years of work and understanding of how coding and development works. Once you know how to do that, once I know how to do that, it's really quite easy to pick things up. So I'm not saying a complete beginner can do this in one day. And now I wanna leave you off with this. You might be wondering, hey Kazi, is this worth it for me to learn? Should I learn React Native? And my answer to you is this, right? React Native, the job opportunity for it is actually absolutely insane. And according to ZipRecruiter, an average React Native developer makes about $150,000 a year. And the reason is, look, most big companies are using React Native, like Uber or Uber Eats, whatever is a mobile app that you see out there is actually now on React Native. So it's a very hot technology for you to learn. And if you know React JS already, then React Native is the next logical stepping stone for you to learn as well. So if you're interested in having a career that has a ton of longevity, if you wanna be able to have income potentials of $150,000 a year or more, and you wanna be able to work on really amazing and hot projects, then I definitely recommend that you learn React Native and tack it onto your React JS that you already might know 
and it will make you so damn valuable in the job market. And honestly, even if you're new to coding, you can still jump into React Native and learn. You don't need to be intermediate or advanced and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I'm also planning to launch a React Native crash course, which is just gonna be all things React Native. So that's another reason why I'm actually wanting to learn this. And again, all of these goals go straight back into helping 5,000 people just like you get full-time jobs as developers at their dream job. So if I'm putting out React Native bills and tutorials, you can put it on your portfolio and my goal is and my hope is that you can take that to an employer and go, give me that job. So with that said, look, I'm gonna start doing React Native builds. They're gonna be fire. You know how we do it at Clever Programmer. It's gonna be exciting. Now I'm gonna turn it over to you. As I'm gonna be doing these React Native builds, I wanna help develop your portfolio and help you land your dream job as a developer. So tell me, what do you want to see as the next build? With that said, this is Kazi. I wanna hear from you and I'll see you in the next video.